In this video, I am going to show you how to create a digital escape room using a keypad and four digit lock using Google Slides. If you would like an additional printable version of the directions, as well as a step-by-step -step flowchart, visit the website mathtreasures.com. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use the unlock code 2604. Let me use an example to show you what I mean. In this case, look at the question on the board. The answer choices are provided, and a little twist to the answer choices are on this easel. So when students solve these math questions, the unlock code is 2604. So if they enter 2604, the door should open. If they use any other digits or if they use the wrong combination, the door stays locked. Let's see how this works. If I enter the wrong code, one, two, four, five, I get an error message, which means I need to return back to the question. Let's try a different code, 2609. Once again, it did not work. Let's try the right code, which is 2604. Now the door is open. Now that you have seen how the digital escape room looks like on the student's side and how they can use the keypad to enter the answers, I am going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how you can custom design it from scratch. So make sure that you grab some papers and we are ready to start. Welcome back. Start with slide number one. Your slide one has the math questions, the answer choices, as well as any twist that you want to add on to it, and the keypad. Once you have your slide one completed, go to the shapes. Choose the rectangle and cover the entire slide. Go to the link and hyperlink this to the same place, which is slide one. Click apply. Go to color, make it transparent, and go to the border color, make it transparent just in case. Now, take your slide one, right click, and duplicate this three times. Now you can see I have slide one, two, three, four, ready to go. My fifth slide is going to be a placeholder to indicate an error message. So I am going to go and grab a placeholder. So in this case, which I have it, copy and paste it. Your slide five is the error message, which means when students land on this slide, they need to be redirected back to the question. So let's use the shape overlay again. Go to the rectangle. Hyperlink this to slide number one. Apply. Make the color transparent and the border transparent. So this is ready to go. Now that we have slides one, two, three, four, and five done, let's go back to slide number one. We are going to use the second overlay for the keypad. Go to Shapes, choose the rectangle, and in this case, cover the entire keypad. Point this to the next slide. So since we are on slide number one, we need to point this to slide number two. Click Apply. Once again, set the color to be transparent, the border to be transparent. We are going to repeat the process for slides two, three, and four. Point this to slide three, click apply, set the color as transparent, border transparent, go to slide three, repeat the same for the entire keypad. Point this to slide number four, which is the next slide in the order. Color is transparent, border is transparent, and one more time.
let's point this to slide number five apply color is transparent border is transparent now that we have these slides set up to a level go to slide number two three and four hold the shift and select slide two three and four right click and select duplicate the slides as you can see we now have a five six and a seven and it is selected take this and move this after the error slide i am going to insert a congrats message slide from my placeholder let me copy this and right click and paste okay so this is ready to go let me add another placeholder saying that you escape. This is where oftentimes you would be leaning towards adding your second question. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and revisit my entire order. I have slides one, two, three, four. Then I have the error slide. Then I have slides six, seven, eight. Then I have the congratulations slide. And this is the place where you can choose to have your escaped message or your second question starts on slide number 10. So the option is yours. Now let's go back and add the last details of the correct code. Remember the correct code was 2604. So go to slide number one. If the students click on number two, which means the first digit happens to be correct. So go to shape once again, in this case, let's use a small rectangle. This is where we need to be careful on where we point the slides. So go to the link slides, and in this case, point to slide number six. Click apply. The same procedure applies, make the color transparent and the border transparent. Now go to slide number six. We are going to repeat the same process. Remember the second digit was six. So if students select six, it means they have entered the correct digit. So click slides and in this case, point us to slide number seven, click apply. Same procedure applies in this case. Go to slide number seven. The third digit they need to enter correctly is a zero. Link this to the next slide, which was slide eight. Click apply. And one more. Remember the last digit was a four. In this case, point this to slide number nine. Click apply. And that's it. Let's give it a try. Go to slide one, place this in the presentation mode. Let's test it out. Let's enter the wrong code to begin with. So I am going to enter one, two, four, five. Same thing, it gave me an error message. Let's try two, nine, zero, eight, error message. Let's try the correct code and see if it works. Two, six, zero, four. Ha ha, it works. That's it, guys. So the process for using the keypad and the Google slide, it's over here. Rewatch the video, pause and rewatch the video if you'd like to. And click the subscribe button to bookmark this video so you can go back and rewatch it again. Share this with your friends and visit mathtreasures.com. I included a step-by-step -step directions that you can print and use as well as a visual flowchart. Best wishes on your journey. Thank you for watching this video.